This VAWatchdog.org news video is brought to you by Bergman and Moore, LLC. Former VA attorneys now fighting VA for you. Call Bergman and Moore at 877-838-2889 or on the web at vetlawyers.com. The U.S. Army this week celebrated its 35th anniversary as an all-volunteer force. But these days, it's having a tough time finding good soldiers. In the past four years, the Army has had to double the number of waivers granted to unqualified recruits to 22,000. Here's David Martin. Summer, when school is over, is the military's prime recruiting time. But when the Army goes looking for young people to enlist, General William Wallace says it runs into an astounding fact. About 28% uh, of them, based on our analysis, are fully qualified for military service. Put it another way, only three out of 10 young people between the ages of 17 and 24 even qualify to serve in the Army. The rest are ineligible either because they didn't graduate from high school, have a police record, or are not physically fit. It doesn't surprise me because I really think that we don't see as much physical activity either in schools or outside of schools as we used to. Maria Tukeva is the principal of Bell Multicultural High School in the District of Columbia, where until recently gym class was impossible. We had no gymnasium, no sports equipment or field of any kind. Now she has a new building complete with a weight room. But Coach Ewan Balset says the kids who use it are the exception. It's getting worse and worse. I mean, I think in the video game era, um, especially now the video games are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And, you know, the cell phones, I mean, they get fancier and fancier. I mean, I mean, basically, you can sit on the couch and do anything you want. Call them the softest generation, but you really can't blame them. In four years at Bell, a student is only required to take nine weeks of gym class. Nine weeks. Nine weeks in four years? Yes. And that's it? And that's it, pretty much. Nationwide, an increasing number of students don't stay for four years. Every 26 seconds in our country, a young person drops out of high school. Oh, OK. Yeah, at I Bell, Michael Connors, a former Air Force pilot who flew in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan, teaches English as a second language. How tough is it to keep kids on the right track? <sighs> it's, it's tough. This job, teaching, makes going to war look easy. A nation, okay. it's been said, is only as strong as its children. And that's never more true than in time of war. The evidence says our children are getting weaker, both mentally and physically. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon. VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website. On the web at VAWatchdog.org.